All right, welcome back. In this video, what we're going to do is create a foundation wall that we need for our project here. So I just want to bring up my AutoCAD drawing really quickly just to show you what we're going to create in this video. What we want to do here is we actually need below the exterior wall that we created in the past video, what we want to create here is our two foundation walls which we're going to combine into a stack wall. So right below grade you see that we have our 8 inch CMU with brick on the exterior with a small airspace in between and then below that wall style we actually have our 12 inch block that goes down to our footer. So let's get started creating this in Revit so that we can insert it into our foundation. So the first thing I want us to do we come up here to architectural and let's start from the architectural wall I always like to insert a little piece of the wall sometime it allows me to see what I'm dealing with you don't have to you could skip this step uh, here but we're just gonna click on edit type and here in edit type let's go ahead and duplicate it and I'm naming this after the project once again I'm just gonna call this Acme Foundation and this is going to be our brick on 8 inch CMU for this wall style so let's go into edit structure and here under the structure let's make sure that we get the components right so what I want to modify here is we knew we started from a wall style that was finished on the interior so if I scroll down to the bottom I'm actually going to take this interior side wallboard we're gonna get that out of there delete that and the metal furring that goes along with it we're going to leave our CMU and that's the appropriate 7 and 5 eighths dimension for that and then what we want to do is come on the outside and we're going to get rid of this insulation layer because we're turning this into a foundation wall we don't have insulation out there so we're going to delete that and then our airspace we're actually going to make our airspace. Let's go ahead and reduce this. This is just going to be three quarters of an inch here. So you see, this gives us a total wall thickness of one foot, which works for us. This is, we're going to hit OK here. Now we have this wall style set up. Now I'm just going to change this for the function of this wall. I want to make sure that we change the function. This is going to work as a foundation wall for us we named the wall style appropriately but let's make sure we change that function as well and I'm gonna click OK for this wall now we have this wall style in there let's go ahead and make sure that we create the other wall style that we need so I'm just going to take this that we actually already created and I'm just gonna duplicate that Acme Foundation and we'll just say 12 inch CMU click OK there let's come back in the edit structure and I'm just going to change this one to 11 and 5 eighths and if you recall we can get rid of the brick because now we would be below grade So there we are. I'm going to click OK here. And click OK one more time. Now the last wall style that we need to create. If we come here, we've created, if I go back to just my AutoCAD drawing, you can see we've now created a wall style for this 12 inch CMU. And we've created a wall style that has our brick and our 8 inch CMU. So back to Revit. The last thing we want to do is we're going to come in here to wall architectural and I want to scroll down I'm going to be close to the bottom you see our stack wall. We're going to start from this stack wall it's what's provided in the program by default and we're just going to click edit type and we're going to duplicate this wall style. So you see we're doing quite a bit of duplicating 
existing wall styles and modifying from there. And we're just going to call this our Acme foundation wall. And this is going to be our brick with eight inch CMU. over 12 inch CMU. Let's click OK for that. Now edit structure and you'll see in here is where we can actually combine those two wall styles. So I'm going to find my Acme wall styles that we just created. So what we're going to have I'm actually going to put my 12 inch CMU and we're going to make sure we put that on the bottom now. So the eight inch up top and our Acme 12 inch on the bottom. Now the first thing we do want to do the variable one we want to make sure that that one is our 12 inch. I am sorry. And we want to make sure that the brick is given a specified dimension. Not to confuse you if I refer back here you'll see that I pulled this dimension string out so that we can see we have a one foot four below grade we're specifying is going to have that brick uh, to cover our grade. So if we go back we want to make sure that that is in fact this type where we can give a dimension. There's going to always be one of your wall styles is going to remain variable and we know that as as this foundation wall drops lower to meet the frost line we know that what's going to happen is this portion of the wall style would actually we're specifying that it would grow not the brick component of the stack wall so we've got one foot four but we want to make sure that this is actually on top so we're seeing a sample height which is pretty unrealistic but if we change this being our foundation wall to roughly you know four feet you would see here closer to what we're going to have. Let me see if I can zoom in, make sure we can zoom in on this. So this is roughly what you're going to see. And I wanted to make sure that we just set this up based on, actually we can, we can go ahead and set this up based on our core face interior, which is going to align our wall styles based on that CMU interior face. So now you can see how our wall style is actually going to look. Now when we click OK here, we have the stack wall style that we need. So for our stack wall, I'm actually going to insert this right here on in our first floor plan. But what we want to do here is we're actually going to assign a base constraint of our foundation level and we haven't set up one yet so let's go ahead to an elevation view and do that so that we can insert this wall back to our north wall style or north elevation I'm sorry and let's come up here to our architectural tab and create a level and we're just going to go ahead and drop a level in down here for top of footing. So we'll just double click on level five, top of footing. Yes, we'll rename our views and we're gonna make that four foot below.
actually we're going to make it three per our, per our project our project said our foundations footers will be a minimum of three foot below okay so here in our first floor now we're going to insert the Acme foundation walls the first thing I want us to do so that we can see to so that we can see these foundation walls as we insert them is come down to view range for our first floor and for our view depth we're going to change this to our top of footing level just so that we can see down to that level as we insert the walls let's click apply for this so here we're going to come down to our stack wall again and we're going to make our base constraint the top of footing and our top constraint we're going to make the first floor the location line we're going to insert it about the interior face so let's start here on the inside of our metal stud for first floor and we're just going to go around our plan and make sure that we insert the foundation wall that's it if we take a look at our 3d view now we can see we have our foundation wall in that has our 8-inch CMU and let's just cut ourselves a section and take a look at this so on my quick access toolbar I can just cut a section here and we're gonna give ourselves a section just so that we can take a look at this view I'm gonna double double click on my call out to open it up and change this to medium detail and you see what we have here you can see you can begin to see this foundation wall that we've now created in the project how it comes down it actually sits back supports the metal stud here's our inside face of jip I hope this video has been helpful for you.